welcome back. We're now going to go from the cross loop drills that we practiced into a body hook loop drill. So therefore you get that, how to sustain time at close quarter and get a sort of a structure of how close quarter works. Obviously, it doesn't work exactly like this, but this gets you into that area for a long time. You start to see the patterns that are inherent in that. Yeah? So we're going to do go from the cross loop into a body hook loop and then out again. And we're flowing between those, those two. Yeah? This is a great way to get your close quarter down. Uh, because you need drills. You need to drill and you, you need to build your skill and see that what looks like chaotic is quite patterned and so therefore you get time yeah, yeah? so he's going to come up we're doing the cross loop drill we just did before one we're using sh shoulder roll or outside power yeah okay so bam yeah so i'll go like this when i do the cross like it goes so look body hook head hook he does body hook head hook yeah right don't use your arm like this because if we use my arm there's a gap he can grab my arm and, and underhook me boom and he has me yeah so i don't want that i want no arm look it's really tight here yeah when i hit him it's horrible yeah it's like, like a door being closed on your head yeah so okay body hook head hook yeah he's aiming for any target he can get yeah? one two but if he's big look i can use my elbow in here and, and destroy his arm yeah if he does that hook really tight i can't get my hand in there yeah so you want it all nice and tight so body hook head hook yeah body hook head hook yeah what you find is you pivot almost like we both got foot on a tree trunk yeah a sort of a tree stump yeah you don't want him to be going around the tree stump you want both have one foot on the tree stump and you both pivot around it so look he comes around me he pivots one two because he knows i'm going to go around and and hit him yeah? one two yeah one, two, yeah? Right. For this body hook, if I go like that, it's easy for him to do things. So well, look, I go, bring my body forward, and it just pops out really short, yeah? It means I can go almost all the way around, almost like build a platform off of here, platform on there, and then I can reach all around there. I'm only there for an instant, yeah? So one, he body hooks me, boom, yeah? Two, yeah? Or I can go in front and hook, yeah? Two, yeah? Love very hard for him to cover the, the, both of those. If we go back over there, I'm going to body hook, head hook, he's going to bob and weave under, he bob and weaves under, and we're back into the cross loop. So he gives me the cross again, and it's nice and relaxed, and I get to practice putting my hand up, yeah, making my half guard nice and tight, bending in, yeah. I slip, body hook, head hook, body hook, head hook, yeah. If I bob and weave underneath him, right, right, and I and he bob and weaves under this, then we're in a loop there. We can body hook hit me. I bob and weave. He bobs and weaves. Okay, boom, two. Yeah. So we can, we have this other loop. Right? Just get in the, the habit. Boom, boom. There you go. I'm back. One, two, three. Yeah. Okay. Then I can flow in and out.